Hi everyone, thank you for coming. A uh, bit of a hard act to follow after the last one, but I'll, we'll do our best. So my name's Alex, uh, this is Gear here, and, and, and we're from the Northwest Hospital and Health Service. We're going to be presenting to you, sorry, bear with me. We're presenting to you the, uh, the model of care of the North, the North, uh, sorry, the Nurse Navigator um, model of care in the Northwest and our team approach. So a bit of a background about us. Uh, the Northwest Hospital and Health Service covers 300,000 square kilometres and includes Mount Isa, the surrounds and the lower Gulf of Carpentaria. We have a population of uh, 30,050 uh, 500 and the Northwest Hospital Health Region is a multifaceted web of public, private and not-for-profit organisations. It's because of this that coordinated care is difficult to achieve and confusing for patients and family to navigate. The Northwest Hospital and Health Service has been identified as a national hotspot for potentially preventable hospitalisations. The communities in the Northwest Hospital and Health Service have a, a diverse background, including extensive Indigenous population. The socioeconomic disadvantage, extreme geographical constraints, lack of tertiary care uh, services present significant challenges to our healthcare. This unique environment has provided us an opportunity for the Nurse Navigator Service to play an integral role in the coordination of patient care through the patient healthcare journey. So the Northwest. The Northwest includes numerous towns with hospitals and primary healthcare facilities throughout the region as seen here. Mount Isa Hospital holds the region's tertiary hospital with a large number of services, including surgical and obstetrics capabilities, as well as community and primary health care and disease prevention services. The Northwest. It is 468 kilometres from Mornington Island in the Gulf of Carpentaria to Mount Isa. It is 904 kilometres from Mount Isa to Townsville, which is our Northwest Tertiary Referral Centre. It is then 1,823 kilometres from Mount Isa to Brisbane, where our patients have to go for specialist healthcare. The Northwest Health Service also sits on the border of the Northern Territory. Due to our geographical location, patients are often transported from Mount, to Mount Isa from the Northern Territory communities and stations. The Northwest region is so vast that the state of Victoria, ooh, didn't work. Let's see if I can get it to work. The, the state of Victoria can fit into it, or to put it into another perspective, it's the size of Germany. As you would imagine, this geographical size and location presents many of the challenges in our healthcare system. However, saying that, the Northwest offers uh, amazing views and unique locations and lots of fun events. Oh, come on, sorry. There we go. So, on to the Nurse Navigator Service. The Nurse Navigator Service is a Queensland OCNO um, initiative and it's the largest integrated healthcare project in Australia. It's advanced level nurse position as per the Nurses and Midwives Award of 2015 and we are defined as Grade 7, seven registered nurses. The Northwest nurse, nurse Navigator Service project commenced in 2016 and has grown into the team you can see here. So the nurse navigators operate off of four key principles, care coordination, creating partnerships, improving patient outcomes and facilitating improvements. I'll just go into a bit more detail about these now. So care coordination. It's a multidisciplinary approach. We are a home-based service. We, that's a nurse-led model of care for people who need com, uh, chronic complex care coordination. The service provides care coordination across the patient journey using a multidisciplinary, holistic approach that's not simply about treating the symptoms or diseases, but about treating the whole patient. The nurse, the nurse Navigator Service facilitates the delivery of care to patients, requiring complex ongoing management, including those with mo multiple comorbidities who are, frequent, who are high frequent presenters for unscheduled care and acute services. Our service is um, primary health care focused, putting the patient, the family, the GP, the primary health care provider at the centre of care. Improving patient outcomes, so the patient's health care goals. We foster and encourage active patient engagement in the development and health care goals which promote self-management um, and to improve their health literacy. 
The service provides health co coaching and evaluation of healthcare treatment options. By enhancing health, liter health literacy, we can support patients and their families to make informed decisions about their healthcare options, including advanced care planning. The service uses health literacy tool to measure the patient's understanding of their own health, their understanding of the health system, and their, and their interactions with healthcare providers. We measure this when they first come into the service, then at six months and 12 months. Creating partnerships, so it's a team effort. The service has a no closed door policy. It helps provide central point of care um, that is uh, patient centred and ensure family members and friends and carers are involved with the Nurse Navigator service. We try to ensure everyone's involved, most importantly the patient and their carers, and that they're equal, equal contributing partners to their journey. We, care, uh, we help establish consistent and effective lines of communication across primary and tertiary healthcare providers and try to bridge the gap between acute care, GPs and community services. The service facilitates clinical care review meetings, particularly those focusing on discharge planning and continuing management. And lastly, facilitating system improvements. We're trying to create a world where, not, where nurse navigators aren't needed. We provide leadership role within the organisation and act for an agent of change. As level seven nurses, we have high, high level system knowledge and we can promote co cohesion across the health continuum to reduce the fragmentation, duplication, time delays, inappropriate treatment and other barriers that affect patient health care. We can help improve communication between referral pathway and flow of information. And we lead and participate in quality improvement activities and research relative, um, relevant to assessment and development of the nurse navigator role. Uh, on an ongoing basis. This may take form as part of collecting data on outcome measures, key performance indicators, staff and patient satisfaction, and other health improvement activities. So by applying these four principles, the Nurse Navigator Service aims to mould a fragmented delivery of health healthcare services into a holistic, co um, coordinated, informed healthcare journey with the patient, their family and the carers and the primary healthcare provider at the centre of the healthcare, as you can see in this diagram. I'll hand over to Anne Nielsen now, who was the project lead at the beginning of the, of the uh, service. Cool. Um, OCNO stands for the Chief Nurse on Nursing and Midwifery in Queensland and they actually were given the um, priority of placing 400 new nurses across Queensland over four years with the Anna Palaszczuk Nursing Guarantee when she first came into power. So we're halfway through the project now and we have almost, I think we're 198 nurse navigators across Queensland so far. Um, when we um, started the project in Mount Isa, uh, it was a follow-on of the nurse-led programs that were already existing there and also using the lessons learned from the Connected Care Program through Children's Health. So we acknowledged right from the start that we needed a unique approach because um, some of our communities with the statewide um, referral criteria, most of the community, which was well over a thousand people um, in some of our discrete communities, met the referral criteria. So we had to take a different approach from other areas. Um, our enrolment process utilises a risk stratification tool and we also utilise data that we're very lucky to receive from the statistical branch. That data looks at, the client co at a client cohort for us. Um, for the next 12 months, these clients are predicted to best benefit from a nurse navigator taking over um, some care coordination and also building some partnerships for them and assisting them with their journey. We also identified in Mount Isa, because of the project's limitations, we were only funded across the whole state for the actual nursing staff. And we identified quickly that we needed health workers and cultural engagement for us to achieve our goals. Um, so we looked at a community-focused service as well, because um, in Mount Isa, we already were at the point where we could have no more availability of appointment-based services. 
So we made this a home-based service completely, um, not based in the acute services. So we sit in community and primary health care. Also, we had to identify that um, not everywhere can we connect our clients with a GP for those that aren't already connected. Some places it will be the primary health care centre and in some places it may well be that these clients will remain with their nurse practitioner, for instance, in Doomagee or Normanton and perhaps even Cloncurry if that's where the engagement sits. So this is our um, status at the moment. We've had three, well, we're now at 400 referrals to the service, and that includes our predicted data. Um, our population sits at 32,000. Um, we have uh, the nurse navigators, three health workers, and five nurse navigators. Uh, our, our percentage of our nurse navigator patients, um, we have 75% of our clients sitting in the preventable admission clients, 75% of those are Indigenous and the other 25 are non-Indigenous. Um, we sit always in the northwest, uh, historically now for over four years as the top HHS for potentially preventable hospitalisations. We're working very hard with um, Western Queensland PHN and Gidgee Healing as part of a lower golf strategy to really improve that. We're also working on our discharge against medical advice strategies as part of the Nurse Navigator program. And you can see our referral pathway there. It can come from anywhere. That's just a cyclic um, diagram there where the family, the patient, all of the NGOs and um, our collaborative teams work together with the hospital. Um, we have some fantastic um, patient stories showing people that were presenting to our emergency department um, 22 times um, prior to a nurse navigator taking over um, some care provision and now only presenting once or twice in the next 8 to 12 months. The um, continuum of care is for a 12 month period and um, we'll have more data and there's actually a statewide evaluation of the program as well. The um, second part of our model of care is to include the health uh, the nurse practitioners. Our nurse practitioner is a, has a scope of practice with mental health. Um, so she provides expert advice to us as the generalist nurse navigators, as well as providing us with the capability of referrals, reviews, and she's able to work outside the mental health strict um, referral criteria. And once those clients have had their acute services with our um, community-based services that are in Mount Isa or within the communities, she's able to continue on and act as an advisor or a care provider to those clients, which, which will have ongoing um, benefits for us. And um, she works also with the mental health nurses at the GP surgeries and um, drug and alcohol across the whole of um, the state. Um, the second thing that we're working on is our um, health worker model of care. We have a summit at the end of this month for all of our health workers across the whole HHS working towards developing the health, health practitioner role within Queensland and first of all starting with North West. Nurse navigator health workers, that's the three of them. Darren, ha um, Darren down the bottom there hails from Doomagee, Carmel comes from Dajara and Bruce comes from the Northern Territory and they've been integral to our uptake. We have 50, over 50% 50 at all times of our clients um, Indigenous, identifying as Indigenous, and 95% um, of those are, are identifying as Aboriginal. And um, that's really what we're aiming for because our total population sits at 24% are Indigenous or 23% on the new ABS maybe. Um, and what the health workers are doing is they're um, building that rapport for the nurse navigators to come in as well as the rest of our team. And um, they do health assessments, observations, they're building trust with clients that haven't engaged previously. They go out to the homes or wherever the clients are and they're providing all of that support. They're our key connection between all of the cultures because we have more than one tribe that's all congregating in Mount Isa, so working between that. They help us with the communication and language, the orientation of our new staff because we have a very high turnover of staff in the Northwest as well. And they help build that trust and respect, breaking through the barriers and they're allowing those patients to be honest and open with us in a way that they haven't quite been able to do in the past. And um, helping us catch the clients that we're missing because of 
in Queensland we have the um, two fail to attends and you're out. So we're helping deal with that. This is where our team sits. So we sit under um, the role that I'm acting in at the moment, the Assistant Director of Nursing in Community and Primary Healthcare. And um, we're, we sit alongside the chronic disease team and that's one of the big areas we're working with um, and the rest of the team to um, cut down those silos. We're going to be rolling out a new model of care um, with our Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander funding that will see us decreasing the siloed funding and having an integrated approach, which is going to be really exciting for 2019. Um, and I'm handing over to Gia now. So some of the tools that we use within the service to break down some of the silos um, and barriers that we've come across include community focused um, home based solutions. So taking the solutions to the patients in their home, increasing the utilisation of telehealth through um, video conferencing. And this means that our Indigenous families, they don't have to leave their country to get um, support in Townsville or Brisbane. And then that means they're more likely to engage because it's all there at home. So we can take our, um, our iPads out to them and they can VC with the specialists. Um, also partnering up and collaborating with our key stakeholders and um, sharing the information with them. Having family conferences um, and also having interdisciplinary clinical reviews. Those have been awesome for us um, so that we can try and um, get everybody on the same page. Um, families are invited um, so that they know what's going on and any concerns are raised there with them and the rest of the team are aware. Also extended access to information systems. So having access to IEMR because we have patients that go to Townsville, we, don't, we previously didn't have access. Also utilising the viewer, SIMA, because we have a lot of mental health issues. So just having access to all those different systems has helped and in breaking down the silos. This here, um, these are just some of the partners that we do work with. This picture here um, is of one of our uh, Metro North Nurse Navigator teams. Now the thongs here, um, one of the biggest challenges that we had was our patients not being able to travel on the plane. And the um, thing that stopped them was um, some of our Indigenous folk didn't have shoes. So something as simple as that um, would let them um, be able to make those appointments. So they partnered up with us and they got together and they donated us all these thongs. Um, also the Nurse Navigator Statewide Network, our Gigi Healing, which is our Aboriginal Medical Service, a massive part in um, building partnership and connections with the patients. Centre Care, Public Trustee, QCAT, these are just a few of the partners and um, stakeholders that we engage with. Outcomes, um, some of the outcomes that we've seen within the service since it started up is the transformational new nurse-led model of care which has been embedded throughout the health service. Um, also, um, the uh, Nurse Navigator Service has been acknowledged and received the 2017 Highly Commended Customer Focus Award and the Premier's Award for Excellence. And also something really exciting for us is our local and statewide service evaluation that's coming up. So, you know, always trying to improve our service and how we can do better and move forward. And how we actually eval uh, evaluate what we're doing with our clients. Health literacy, um, we have health literacy when we first, um, when they first um, jump on board with us and also six months after. Um, Self-management, consumer videos, getting their views and um, how they perceive things and how we can um, move forward with them and do things better for them. Um, the impact that, family, that patients and families and the health service um, give us with, through feedback. One of those, um, a couple of those tools are through case studies that um, we have and also patient stories. Um, also being here at the awards and just talking about how we do and um, selling the service. Um, where we want to go to in the future, we would love more resources to expand the program to meet the needs of our chronic complex patients. Um, also expansion of telehealth, um, a wonderful thing would, for us, especially in our area, would be a walk-in centre. That would be awesome because it will meet our Indigenous um, patients' needs because they don't, they don't fit the westernised system where you have to make an appointment and you rock up to that appointment. Um, also iCompass, 
um, is a new um, app that's coming out later on in the year. It's been um, developed specifically for nurse navigators. It's a one-stop shop for everything that a nurse navigator will need. So um, it allows you access um, through different HHSs throughout the state. It also allows you to be able to get in there and write notes. Um, and you've got everything there in that one place instead of what we're currently doing, which is going from one system to another system to another system. And you've got to get um, approvals and things for all those different systems. With this um, application that's coming out, everything's there for us. Um, these are just some of the challenges um, that, we've, that we're currently facing um, and we are working really hard to try and um, get over those barriers. And I'll now hand it over to Anne to finish us off. Um, our takeaway messages are just the importance of working strongly together and respecting each other. Um, Patient goals direct the care from our very first visit and um, being able to advocate that has made all the differences and um, we're creating all of our partnerships. Um, the other thing I was just wanting to say, we're always recruiting. Our HHS has the highest <laughs> rec um, retention, recruitment and retention turnover rate and that is because of where we are. But I just want to say from all three of us, some of us are, I've returned for the second time. First time was seven years, back for two years. We're all long-termers but none of us are there forever. We're really happy if anyone wants to come for six months to two years and we're happy for any questions. Great, thank you very much. Um, we've got time for one question. I think it's a fantastic service. So I think who would like to ask for one um, question? I just ask what risk algorithm you use for Oh, the risk stratification, yes. So um, we have three categories and um, the risk stratification starts with if the clients, um, we're considered the ICU nurses of community health, that was a trendy tag we were given, and so we have category one to category three and we have clients who are ready to engage with poor, low, poor and low um, health literacy and at risk of being readmitted to hospital they go into our um, up to we need to catch up with them for five days and we use the LACE tool for if they're in hospital and therefore that means they go straight to the top of our priority and clinician referrals also are reviewed against those and um, we have to do an actual referral and a um, interdisciplinary review of them if we've got um, issues between which ones we would see next. Yeah. Okay, look, that's fantastic. We now know that your service exists and we know who you are, so we can chase you up. Um, but uh, very impressive. Um, what I really liked was the. Um, very good, thank you very much. Um, I love the flow diagram. I mean, that's what integrated care is all about someone operating the system. Brilliant.